What is a radioactive isotope and how can it harm us? Well, first off, what's an isotope? Isotope. Any of two or more forms of a chemical element having the same number of protons in the nucleus, or the same atomic number, but having different numbers of neutrons in the nucleus, or a different atomic weight. So basically, an isotope is an element with a different number of neutrons. All radioactive isotope is, is an unstable version of a stable element. But what's so dangerous about them, you might ask? Well, here's a few radioactive isotopes that appeared after Chernobyl. Inside the cloud of fallout, strontium-90. It emits beta particles which can cause cancer. Because it is in the same family and is right below calcium, it is absorbed by your body into your bones and teeth. Make anyone near the fallout, a large part of Belarus, slightly radioactive. Iodine-131 also appeared in the fallout of Chernobyl. It gets absorbed into food and into the human body where it can cause thyroid cancer. Fortunately, it has a half-life of only 8 days, so it is not the most dangerous radioactive isotope. Unlike cesium-137. Cesium-137 is made deep in the core of a nuclear power plant. It has a half-life of over 30 years, meaning that more than half the cesium released into the environment during Chernobyl, even after 28 years, is still there today. So what should we do to avoid this problem in the future? We could improve government-regulated safety inspections. How about we just eliminate nuclear power altogether? After all, solar and wind power have never hurt anybody. Well, almost never.